Are you looking for a differential to help you climb up your mini leagues and climb up the ranks? Then here are the best five differentials for game week 11. Let's get into it. Yo, listen up, Rue is stepping up the game Where fantasy premier league runs in his veins From transfers to captains, he's always on top Guiding you through every game week non-stop They say Rue got that style of flow Welcome to the channel, enjoy the show Wild cards, free hits with so much vibe If you're hunting for success, then make sure you subscribe So first up, we will start with the Wolves midfielder The Korean Wolves midfielder, He Chan Huang so he does come in at 5.4 million and he's only 1.7% owned, which is incredible for, for how well he's performed this season. Um, so in terms of starts, he's only started nine, uh, seven games for Wolves out of 10. Um, and he's got six goals and one assist. So the guy is literally on fire. Um, and especially in the last four games, I'd say. So he's got four returns in the last four games. Um, and them games haven't been easy. Don't get me wrong. Like um, Man City at home, obviously they won that game. Um, Villa at home, Bournemouth away and Newcastle at home. So obviously three home games, but um, Wolves have looked, to be honest, really good this season. Um, and I think Kwang and obviously Pedro Neto is a big part of that. Um, they're unbeaten since game week 5-2. Um, and I think Kwang can be a really, really good option for us in FPL. Um, obviously, there is news now that Pedro Neto potentially could be injured. He's, he's done his kind of hamstring potentially. Um, so I don't know if this makes uh, Huang a better or a worse option on on the flips on the one side. Um, Neto creates so much for for Wolves. He's he's literally got eight assists this season. He's kind of does everything in the team, whether creativity, kind of putting balls into the box, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So without that, they're obviously gonna they're gonna miss that. But could Huang kind of step up? Could he now be on um maybe more set pieces, more a penalty or two? Um, we don't know. So um, for that reason, he is a differential. And I do think he is a really good option um, for the next few game weeks. So the fixtures, again, are a mixed bag. But we saw him do it against Man City, do it against Newcastle, do it against Villa, um, do it against Liverpool this season. So for me, he can score against anyone. And, and for that reason, I think he is a good option for the next few game weeks. So Sheffield United away. We've seen how bad they are, how many goals they concede. Spurs at home, yes, that is a tough game, but it is at home at least. Fulham away, again, not the best defensively. Arsenal away, yes, tough game, but he's done it against Man City. Then they've got Burnley at home, Forest at home, um, West Ham away, Chelsea at home, Brentford at guess, et etc. Et but up until kind of game week 16, them fixtures look really, really good, um, especially with Sheffield United away, Fulham away, Burnley at home, Forest at home. Um, so for me, I think Wang is, is a differential that you should be looking to bring in this game week. So next up, we have got the Arsenal forward, um, the hat-trick hero, the guy that just scored a hat-trick against Sheffield United at home. Um, it is Eddie Enketia, um, the star boy, as I like to call him, or is that Saka? I'm not too sure. Uh, so 5.5 million, 5.5% owned. Um, incredible price for, I guess, Arsenal starting um, goal scorer, starting forward when, obviously, Gabriel Jesus is not in the team. Um, he is injured at the moment. He's likely to miss another game week or two. Um, so I guess Enketia is more of a two to three to four week punt rather than long term. Um, but if you still have your wild card, I think he is a great option. He's, he's only 5.5 million too. So you're not too stressed if maybe he does miss a game or two. Um, even when um, Gabriel Jesus did come back from his injury, it was only game week nine where Enketia, um didn't start. So he started eight games this season out of 10, which is really, really good. And even in them games that he didn't start, he came on after half time against Fulham and he, he had 22 minutes against Chelsea. Um, so for me, he's still going to get minutes off the bench, even if he doesn't start every single game. Um, and with his hat trick, he's going to be on fire. He's going to be undroppable up for at least the next two to three games. Um, so for me, I do think he is a really good differential option if you are looking to kind of make that um bridge that gap, I guess, in your middle leagues, try and climb the ranks. Um, someone for the next two to three weeks, um, he does look like a really, really good option. Again, the fixtures, kind of a mixed bag. Um, but again, it's Arsenal, so who knows? Uh, Newcastle away, they've just conceded two goals um, in the last game week, in game week 10. Burnley at home, that could be another 5-0. Brentford away, Wolves at home, Luton away, Villa away, Brighton at home. So some really good fixtures there, especially that Luton away game. That Burnley at home game, uh, home game. Um, I think Eddie and Ketia can be a good option and a really, really good differential to bring in this game week. 
The next up, we have got um, a real differential, 0.7% owned, 5.5 uh, million again. Um, it is the Corey, so the, the Everton midfielder. Um, yes, someone that probably hasn't done that well this season, but we've seen how great he can be um, for Everton and how well he did do towards the end of last season. He, he virtually kept him up on his own. Um, even this season, he's got two goals, one assist. Um, he started, um, yeah, every game so far for Everton. Um, and Everton, I think, is a bit of a myth that they've, they've had a kind of bad, bad season. Yes, they started the season really badly, but the last few game weeks, they beat Brentford away. They beat Bournemouth 3-0. And I th they put in a really, really good performance against Liverpool as well. Um, so for that reason, I do think he could be a good differential. Um, yes, 5.5 million. You could get someone like Anthony Gordon. You could get someone like Neto if he does come back to fitness. Um, but these are differentials for a reason. So um, the fixtures are a bit of a sticky one, a bit of a mixed bag. Brighton at home, but they concede a lot of goals. So that's not a big deal. Palace away, they're, they're riddled with injuries at the moment. So that, that could be um, a game that Everton look to win, look to score goals in. Man United at home, no comment. Uh, Nottingham Forest away. So the next, until game week 14, they have some good fixtures and they, they have some winnable games. So if you are looking for an ultimate differential, I don't think um, you can look any further than Abdullah Decore. So next up, we've got Callum Wilson, fresh off his brace against uh, Wolves away in game week 10. And obviously he did score as well in game week nine. Um, he's got seven goals this season, kind of gone under the radar um, for me. So he started four games. Four games he started and he scored seven goals. Incredible. Um, if he plays, he scores. That is just it with Callum Wilson. But we don't know. Because of Alexander Izak, um, we don't know if he will start. But at the moment, at this current stage, Alexander Izak is injured. He does have a groin injury. So for that reason, Wilson is an incredible differential. He's only 5% owned, 7.8 million. Um, and he's he's on fire. When he when he plays, he scores. For England, he scores. For um, Newcastle, he scores. When he plays, he scores. It's as simple as that. And for me, I think he's worth the risk. Um, even if Izak does come back, potentially he could play Champions League. Wilson can play Premier League. As it has looked at over the last kind of two game weeks, um, for me, I think it is worth the risk because you know if he does play, he's going to score. And even if he doesn't start, he scored seven goals and he's only started four games. You don't need him to start, really. But obviously, you'd rather him start. Um, so for that reason, Wilson is probably the best differential on this list. Um, but 7.8 million, you could go to Watkins if you have the cash. But if you don't, I think Wilson is a good, good option for the next few game weeks. Although their fixtures don't look good on paper, um, I don't think they're actually as bad as you kind of as you kind of immediately think. So Arsenal at home, yes, probably one of the toughest games, but it's at home. Bournemouth away, Bournemouth are leaking goals at the moment. Then they've got Chelsea at home, Man United at home. So three home games in the next four. Yes, they're tough home games, but um, who knows what kind of Chelsea is going to turn up? Who knows if Man United are going to turn a corner by then or not? So for me, I think Callum Wilson is a really, really good option. And I think he's, he's kind of getting missed by everyone. Um, yes, we've got that rotation risk, but his stats literally show that he started four games and he scored seven goals. Is there anything more that needs to be said? So last but not least, um, we've got a defender on the list. We had to get one defender on the list, and he is a player that I did bring in a few game weeks ago. It is Mark Gahey, 4.5 million, 3.2% uh, owned. He is a player that maybe doesn't get attacking returns, but he's a solid 4.5 million defender that has a really, really good fixture run, especially in the next kind of three to six game weeks, I'd say. So Burnley away, Everton at home, Luton away, incredible. Some of the best fixtures you can ask for. West Ham away, okay, that could be tough. But then they've got Bournemouth at home. So until game week 15, you've got some really, really good fixtures in there. Um, and for me, um, Palace actually looking okay defensively. Yes, their last two games they've conceded, but they've been tough games. They've played Tottenham and they've played Newcastle. Um, so for me, um, I think Mike Gahey is probably one of the best picks in terms of defenders, 4.5 million defenders, cheap defenders. Um, that you can go for over the next three weeks and potentially even six weeks, five weeks, six weeks. Um, if you have liked this video, that is it for this video though. Um, so please smash a like. It really does help me out. Subscribe to the channel as we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. It'll be incredible if you're one of them um, that comes along on this journey. And leave a comment below who is your differential 
for game week 11. Cheers.